Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Can you fling 380 boo lights out of a 9mm? Well, I've never tried it, so I don't know, but this video was inspired by a video we did two or three weeks ago. Can you send 40 Smith & Wessons out of a 10mm? If you haven't seen that video, go check it out, but tons of you guys asked to see this video. 380 and a 9mm. It's not a new discussion, I know, because I've seen other people try the same thing. But enough of you guys asked for us to film it. We're definitely going to try it. So, just to show you real quick, this is my Taurus Spectrum 380. Depending on where I'm going, a lot of times I'll slip this thing in my pocket, uh, hot and ready to go. Uh, 380, uh, 380 I've had good luck with. Had tons of rounds through this thing. Uh, Thing just works and runs for me so that one I sneak off in my pocket quite often um, just a little cheapo nylon holster sometimes I'll even put it on my hip whatever inside the waistband whatever works with the clothes I'm working on but um, since I have a 380 I do have 380 boo lots I pulled these out of the stash today these are some Callaway ballistics 100 grain uh, Callaway ballistic 100 grain 380 boo lots and for this video, I've brought out three different 9mm. We're going to put 380 in and see if it runs. This is my Sky DVG1 with the red dot on it. It's got that flat trigger. Then I've got my Honor Defense Honor Guard. Little uh, single stack I carry from time to time. Had good luck with that one as well. That's a 9mm. And then. This one's probably my favorite. This is my Smith & Wesson Model 59, nickel-plated. These are harder to find nowadays. When you do find them, people want a fortune for them. But I've got a holster for this one. I carry it, too. I actually have a holster for every single one of these. Um, I carry them all from time to time. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to load up, like, five of these 380s in the mag and just see if they run in these 9 millimeters. You guys asked to see it, so we're going to film it. If I had to take a quick guess... I would guess that probably that nickel-plated Smith may run them, but this Honor Defense and that Sky, my memory says they have a tougher spring, and I think that Smith has a, a lighter spring that may let those 380s run, but it might none of them work, but let's find out, see what happens. Go through, run through them real quick. I'm going to load five in each of the mags, and then we'll just let them rip. All right, now check it out. Sky DVG1. I've got five of those 380s in that mag. Got the Honor Defense Honor Guard. I got five of those in that mag. They all fit. It's just a little shorter boo lot. And the Smith and Wesson double stack. I got five down in there. So we'll see what happens. <sighs> Get my glasses on here. It's a nice day in Tennessee. We could go for a little breeze, but I'm not complaining. Super nice out here. All right, first with the sky. My prediction is it's not going to run. It fed in there. It'll fire one, but the the question is, is the slide going to come back and load the second round? I don't think it will. Let's see what happens. Hmm. We got two to go off, then we had a failure to eject after two, so, uh, also disclaimer, don't nobody say, oh, oh, Hootie told me to do this, uh, <laughs> disclaimer, I don't recommend you do this, if I can get that one out, alright, so, we cleared that one out, but it did run one and do one cycle and sent another. Now we got three left in here. Let's see what happens. Oh, did I not load one? Oh, we had one not go off. Failure to fire. Hmm. Oh no. I'm gonna put it back in there. Somebody said you're supposed to let it sit for five minutes. Yeah, we didn't. Yeah. This next one in here is that one that just didn't go off. Went off that time. And uh, 
jam there, failure to eject. Yep, we got two left. And we had two go off. So we had one went off, cycled another, second one went off, third one jammed, fourth one jammed, and then we had two go off in a row. So 380 run in a Sky DVG1, kind of, almost 50% of the time. Now, we got the Honor Defense Honor Guard. This one, eh, that's a pretty stiff spring. How about compared to the Sky? Now, the Sky's got more resistance, so this has a longer slide, but the spring feels easier. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I say it doesn't work as even as good as the sky, but five in here. See what happens. Another one didn't go off. I know these run good in my 380 because I tested them. We'll uh, we'll send a bag of the 380s at the end of the video, but let's try that one again. Failure to eject it. Try another one. Same exact thing as the first one. Didn't eject it. Got stuck there. Another one not go off. Hmm. Yep, this one's not liking the 380. <clears throat> liking them, not liking them at all. See what happens this time. Yeah, the uh, that time it ejected. No, it didn't eject. Didn't eject it. So, we got one left in here. Well, that one got stuck in the chamber. One left. So, that one got stuck too. So, honor defense, honor guard. Really <clears throat> does not like the 380, but the sky <laughs> almost did. Not even really almost. Now the Smith and Wesson 59, also nine millimeter. This one's probably my favorite out of the bunch, just because it's kind of cool. It's kind of old. You can't get them anymore. My prediction was that this one would like them the most. We'll see if that's true. I don't know. Same as that honor defense there. Didn't eject it. Try to finish out them. All five of them. That one might have cycled it. Failure to eject. Nope. Let's forget this one got a hammer on it. Hmm. Well, trying to get that last one to go off. And another failure to eject. So, no, not looking so good. Now, uh, I'm gonna put, the, put the nine millimeter blue lights back in there because these are my carry nine millimeters. But, like I said, I've got this Taurus Spectrum 380, and yeah, 
hundreds and hundreds of 380 in the 380. Let's, uh, let's just send some out here. See if the 380 likes the 380. I haven't practiced with this one in, in a minute. Oh, yeah. Still got it. That thing's a runner. Oh, the Taurus, there you got it. It loves the 380. I dumped that one because. We had to go say for the naysayers, I said, oh, it's probably the ammo problem. No, nah, ammo runs great. That was all that same 100 grain stuff that we tried in that other stuff. But, uh, yeah, the 380 loves the 380. Nine millimeters, not so much. So, there you have it, guys. Will the 380 run in a nine millimeter? Um, no. Don't try it. Best case scenario, you have a single shot. Worst case scenario, it's not going to work at all. And you definitely don't want to be counting on it. Even in a pinch, chances are more often than not, it's not even going to work, period. So, the 380, hey, load it with the 380s. That's my Spectrum. Runs good. Had good luck with it. All these 9mm, like I said, I got holsters for these. That's the Sky, the Honor Defense, and the Smith 59. Those all run great when you feed them 9mm. So, 380s, 9mm, feed them what you're supposed to, and you'll be alright. But, appreciate y'all watching. Thanks to everybody who requested this video. Wanted to make sure we could get it done for you guys. You guys wanted to see me do it. But, appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure you're subscribed to our friends at Heavy Metal. Appreciate them big time. Comment down below what you want to see next time. Just like this one, we got it done. We'll catch you on the next one. 380s. Feed them 380s. Nines, nines. Hootie hoo! Oh.